So feel your feet planted. And feel like there's a 90 degree angle of your knees. And then another 90 degree angle of your hips. We're going to plant our hips. Make this waist go long. Take the low ribs down and back and see what my shoulders do when I do that. And then take your shoulders up and back and down the back. All right, so that's that's an important motion. I'm turning slightly to the side here just so you can see that. We're going to do that over and over. Shoulders back and down the back. But basically, this 20-minute class is to teach this motion. We're going to do other stuff, but if you learn nothing else, practice this. And I got to say, let's all be here. Let's just be here. Grab your hands behind you, maybe, and just be here for a minute. This took me a long time to learn. And I would go to yoga classes and they would be like, take your shoulders and put them back and down your back. And I'd be like, what? I don't have that muscle. I don't even know what you're talking about. But just over the course of practicing a long time, those muscles develop. And you see what happens? It's, um, it's opening my ribs and expanding the lungs. One of the things that I like to teach is yoga for athletes. Athletes need this. It's more lung capacity. Better posture, you look better, etc. Spine likes it better. Because the alternative, which we're all kind of living with, is this. So, let's work on this one. All right, enough speechifying. Take uh, your legs out as far as you can get them. If you have a chair with no legs, even better. Take them out further. And let's come down, do a forward bend. If you have bare feet on dry leaves, what a crazy feeling. We're releasing the shoulders and we're releasing the adductors and we're releasing the hips. It's a good, good stretch. Good, come on up. Take your right elbow to your right knee. Pick this left arm up. I realize I'm showing some skin today. That's probably gross. So pick up my pants a little bit. Like that. And here's where we're opening right here. And you know, this is the basic pose and find a place where it feels good to you. And if you want more and if you're like, this is boring. If you want to really twist, uh, I shouldn't even recommend it. But here's what I'm going to say. Try and come down, put your back, put your back on your leg. Whoa, it's so deep. And then you can take this hand and bind it around like that. Now we're doing sort of the chair equivalent of a Parsvakonasana side angle bend with the bind. Yeah, that's too much. Don't do that. Do this. Unless you really want to, and then you can. All right, sit up, take your hands to your heart. Inhale your arms up. Ow, prickers! Exhale your hands to your heart. I'm not gonna do that again. Inhale arms over your head. Exhale hands to your heart. Let's go the other way. Take your left elbow to your left knee. Ow. Pick your right arm up. And the first thing to find is your alignment, okay? So it's weird because we're in a chair and it looks like I've got angles going in all directions, but really what I'm trying to find here is alignment of my shoulders on top of each other, my elbows on top of each other. If you're familiar with triangle pose, we're really trying to find like a triangle kind of feeling here, at least with the upper half of our body, maybe down even to our knee. We're trying to feel like there's a plate of glass in front of us and a plate of glass behind us and we're just even. And if you want to see that thing that I made up that's a little more advanced, again, it's this. So if you're doing this on the floor and you've got one leg, uh, one leg up like that, then you're in a pose called uh, Parvrita Janusursasana and you're trying to put your back on your thigh. And then you can reach through and do this bind. This is a humongous bend, don't do that. Only if you want to nice on it's nice like this with your elbow all right come on up take your hands to your heart now if you don't have pricker bushes right there you're going like wide up and then hands to your heart my vision is that you're doing this in an office or in your home and you don't have a pricker bush right there inhale up 
Exhale, hands to your heart one more time. Do you feel how we're stretching the shoulders here? Inhale up. Keep them up this time and look at your hands and tilt your neck back. And anytime I tell you to tilt your neck back, don't crunch it back, okay? Make it a strong motion. Keep your neck muscles working. Tilt your chin up and stretch the front part of your throat from your Adam's apple to the bottom of your chin. Stretch it and take your jaw and scoot it around or stretch it and take your bottom lip and put it over your top lip and stretch ah oh. yeah and then uh, take your hands to your heart and put your feet together bare feet in this wilderness is not a super good plan all right inhale your hands up we're going <clears> to <throat> cross our legs, cross your left leg over your right. And then we're going to take our right hand to the outside of our left knee, left hand behind us. Look back at the creek. We're twisting. Feel that twist from the tip of your tailbone to the top of your head that's your spinal column and what the shoulders are doing here is they're just being a lever they're being a cantilever to get you deeper into that twist and make sure wherever you are make sure you feel good that's the most important thing all right and then we're gonna exhale and come back taking our top hand across the sky down on top of our uh, let's see I have my left elbow on top of my right you can cross your arms like this. Try and get your backs of your hands to touch or see if they'll go around each other like snakes or vines. This pose that we're in right now is a seated version of a pose called eagle. And in fact, if you're super strong and you really want to work, then you can come up out of your chair and hover like this above your chair and then you are an eagle. But I'm going to sit back down. One way or another, inhale your arms up, straight up, and exhale them down. Do you feel that in your shoulders? I've been doing that one a little too much lately, and it's kind of messing with my shoulders a little bit, so we're only doing it once. Let's grab our hands behind us. Roll your shoulder blades down the back. Open your heart towards the sky. Good, release out of that. Take your feet to the ground. Take your left ear to your left shoulder and feel that, that side of your neck. Exhale your head forward. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale forward. And go back and forth with your breath. Remembering to feel release in your neck. Next time your head comes over to the left side, we're going to take our left arm up and take, touch the outside of your head. We're not pulling. I'm not pulling. I'm just putting weight, a tiny bit of weight, like a, I don't know, like an ounce from my hand onto the side of my head and just feeling this stretch all the way through the neck down into the shoulder. Good, let go of that hand, put it back on your knee, exhale your head back forward. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Remember, don't go too deep here. It's intense. Necks are a place where we hold a lot of tension. Be careful. Because in addition to being places where we hold a lot of tension, you can hurt yourself really easily here. Yeah, all right. Exhale forward. Inhale your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. And I think 
the opposite would be no the opposite would be crossing your right uh, foot over your left cross your legs with your right over your left or the opposite of whatever you did before and then we're going to take our left elbow to the outside of our right knee sitting up tall and finding this twist grab the back of your chair And then look forward and take your back hand across the sky, down onto your left elbow. You've got your hands like this. Remember I told you you can, I had trouble sitting back down after I did this last time. This is eagle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's eagle. And we're doing a seated eagle. So if you want to find, further find the eagle legs, you can wrap around again arms wrap around again if that works for you inhale them straight up we're doing this exactly once exhale straight down release release your legs let's take them apart again let's take our hands behind us roll the shoulder blades down the back take your chin up and out of your chest open your heart and then let's bend forward and if you've got a desk that you like holding on to hey couple of things here if you've got a desk it might be nice unless it's uncomfortable to rest your forehead on your desk if you can get there see if you can rest your forehead on your desk I don't have a desk obviously and re release your hips release your shoulders and rest your forehead at the same time if you don't have a desk like me you can let go of your hands and take them down to the ground maybe if that works if you like that or you can rest on your knees like this that's nice too One way or another, find a forward bend that you like and see if you can feel it in your lower back and in your hips. And if you're doing that forehead resting thing, that's actually really good. That's an important part of yoga. We do that in child's pose. This is your sixth chakra. The middle of your forehead is your sixth chakra. It is um, stimulating your pineal and your pituitary gland every time you touch that to a mat or to the uh, desk, in this case. Inhale up. Take your arms up over your head. Exhale your hands to your heart. Take your feet back to parallel. And let's now take our right foot on our left knee. And we're gonna release the right hip. So if you're sitting here and you already feel your right hip releasing, you're doing it, that's it. That's the pose. And if you wanna get deeper in, then you can find a little forward bend and probably is not gonna take very much. And if you've got a desk and you feel like leaning on the desk as you get into your hip, that's good too. I love this one. It dawns on me as we're sitting here in this chair that we could maybe do this pose called Heron Kronchasana in a chair. So I'm trying this for the first time. Here we go. Grab your foot. And if this is plenty, if you're feeling something here, then stay there. And if you can, straighten your leg. And we are stretching the hamstring. Nice. It's hard to figure out how to stretch your hamstring in a chair. This is a good way. Stretch your hamstring, stretch your calf, and let me tell you, if you can't do this, like if this is hard, I don't have a strap. I wish I had something I could use as a strap. I could use my microphone here as a strap. Then you can put your strap around your foot, pretend like that's a strap, and hold onto it like that, okay? That'll get you into the pose. It's nice. Oh, yay. And then see what my shoulders are doing. I have flexible shoulders, and so they tend to like take a lot of these poses, and they shouldn't. I really got to figure out how to make my shoulders strong in these poses so that the bend will go where it needs to go, in this case, into the hamstring and the calf. And if you're looking at me and you're like, wow, I, she's really flexible, I'm not that flexible, I can't do it, just use your strap. It's not about being flexible or not flexible. It's about getting into these muscles, that's it. Okay. 
Take your feet down to the ground. Let's inhale to a cow lift. That's where we roll our shoulder blades down the back and kind of let our belly go forward and our heart go forward. And then exhale, cat tuck. And here is where we act like we've been working on a computer all day. Yup. And then inhale back, cow lift. That's the one we want. Exhale, cat tuck. When you're in a chair, this is the one you don't want. Not really. Inhale, cow lift. Exhale, cat tuck. But do you feel how together those two poses make a really nice massage for the spine? One more time, inhale, cow lift. And let's hold this cow lift. Yeah. And then let's stretch out the other hip. So take your left foot and brush any leaves that might have accumulated on your foot off and put it on your right uh, oh, wait a second on your right knee yeah we're gonna get into the left hip here and if you need to adjust on your chair to find a good spot then do it getting into the left hip feel it and then if you feel like bending forward then bend forward Exhale your hands to your heart. Pick up your feet. Pick up your feet. And see if you can feel your, your core holding these feet up. Quads, of course, you feel your quads. But you're also feeling your core. And roll your shoulder blades back and down the back. This gets intense. Yeah. All right, take your feet to the ground, pick up your left foot, or a strap, like I said. You saw me do this before. Take your strap, I mean, this would never work as a strap, but you see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just demonstrating. It doesn't matter what you use as a strap, it could be a tie or a belt or anything. Anything that'll flex, anything that moves. It's better if it's not something stretchy. It's better if it's uh, a flexible but non-stretchy kind of fabric. But it doesn't matter. All you're trying to do is get into this pose. And the reason you're trying to get into this pose is because you're trying to feel this muscle and this muscle stretch. That's it. And roll your shoulder blades down the back and don't take it into your shoulders stretching like this like I'm doing. Don't do that. Let's keep our shoulders strong. Ooh, that is a really nice stretch. Especially if you've just been running or something. Wow, you can feel that. Nice, nice. Take your feet to the floor. Inhale to a cow lift. And then let's feel it in our back here. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale, cow lift. All right, I'm going to do some more experimenting. Let me see how much time I have left. Oh, we're almost done. I better not. I better not experiment today. All right, let's end, let's end with one nice forward bend. So we've done a forward bend with our legs apart. Let's do a forward bend with our legs together. And just figure out based on your chair and based on where you are, what's gonna feel good. And if you have the ability to put your hands down on top of each other on a desk and put your forehead on your hands, that would be awesome. That would be really what I would recommend. And if you don't have a desk, like I don't have a desk, you can keep coming down, spread your body down over your legs. Not with the intention of touching the toes or whatever, but with the intention of stretching the hips. And with the intention of stretching the hips and maybe getting into the lower back. And if you want to like maybe wave back and forth, get into your low back, get into your hips. And then inhale, arms up over your head and don't hit that burger bush. Look up at your hands. Exhale your hands to your heart. That's our practice. Namaste.